Let's now dive into our shortcuts and let's first talk about your hold shortcuts and I want to give you a couple of twists to help you learn these a little bit faster. So hold shortcuts, we're here at the bottom of our shortcut mountain and again, this is where most people not only start, this is where they stop. This is basically all that most people will ever learn about their keyboard shortcuts. Now some common characteristics of hold shortcuts, again, this is all that most people know. They will always involve the alt, shift or control keys. You always need to hold them down. That's why I call these hold shortcuts. Otherwise, they won't work. And this is different than most of the other keyboard shortcuts we're going to talk about inside this course today. And the other thing about hold shortcuts, which kind of makes them a pain, is you do need to memorize them, even though I'm going to give you a couple of tips for how to not only double the number of hold shortcuts you might already know, but also how to find them faster. So let me just, I'm sure you guys already know a couple of these hold shortcuts, but let's just do a quick hold shortcut quiz. So if I was to ask what is the hold shortcut for copy, all right, the control or hold shortcut would be control C to copy. And its little brother is control V for paste. So control C to copy, control V to paste. You'll see that shortcut again when we talk about shift sister shortcuts and extending those as well. What would be the hold shortcut for new slide? The answer is control M and this also allows you after you insert a new slide to immediately type in the title, which is another way to quickly save time when working in PowerPoint when you're drafting out a presentation. How about what is the hold shortcut for duplicate, which is twice as fast as your normal control C to copy and control V to paste. The keyboard shortcut is control D to duplicate and this also has a hidden jump feature that I will demo for you in a second. So this actually has a shortcut within a shortcut on top of being twice as fast as control C to copy and control V to paste. And last but not least, what is the control or hold shortcut for paste special? The answer is control alt V, which also is should be super easy for you to learn because control C to copy, control V to paste, all you need to do is throw in an alt key to get paste special. And this is how you can paste anything in PowerPoint as a picture, as a PNG, as a meta file if you want to break it apart, etc. So this is a super important shortcut for PowerPoint and I highly recommend learning them. Now, if you didn't already know these shortcuts, there is a new clever mechanic in Microsoft Office to help you learn the most important shortcuts faster. So if I just come into PowerPoint here really quick, if you did not know control C to copy, which this should be a shortcut that everybody should um, learn. If you were coming up, so I'm selecting something and I'm copying something, I'm selecting something and I'm copying something and I'm pasting it. If you were using this day in and day out, if you come up in PowerPoint and just hover for a second, notice that you get this hover to discover copy shortcut, all right? If you were constantly using new slides, you come up into the ribbon, you hover for a second, control M for new slides. So this is what I call hover to discover and Microsoft has added, there's the duplicate shortcut, added these to some of the most frequently used commands, which I'm assuming they did based on some research. The paste special, just if I come and hover to discover, is right there, control alt V. So this is a super fast way if you are coming up and doing something in PowerPoint a lot that you can quickly find its control or hold shortcut associated with it to immediately start fast tracking what you're doing. And there is a mechanic when this does not work. So you need to make sure if you do this in PowerPoint or if you're helping someone set this up that you do not have, and I'll, I'll click through this in a second, if you go to the general tab, you need to basically make sure you don't have this don't show screen tips option selected. If you do, all of these keyboard or hover discover shortcuts will disappear. You also need to come into your advanced features and make sure that you have this show shortcut keys in screen tips. And let me just quickly click through this just so you see exactly where it is. So the first one, if someone doesn't have, or if you come and hover in PowerPoint, Word or Excel, and you don't see a shortcut for a command that it should have a hover to discover shortcut, you come to the file tab, you come to options, all right? The first set, general, you just need to make sure that you don't have this last option selected. Either one of these is okay. Just make sure you don't have don't show screen tips. The second one, let me just come back to the slide deck so you can see what I'm actually doing. You need to come to advanced and just look for display and come and find show shortcut keys and screen tips. So file, options, you're gonna to come to advanced, you're gonna go find display, and you can see this show, show shortcut keys and screen tips. So you need to make sure that you have that selected if you wanna be able to use this hover discover. And sometimes people get this accidentally turned off, all you need to do is just click it back on, click okay, and you're gonna be back in action as you hover to discover here in PowerPoint. So that's just a quick um, way to turn it on and off. 
Now, one of the biggest mistakes people make when they get excited about hold shortcuts is they try to learn them all before they need them. So if you're getting excited about shortcuts, don't just go and blindly try to memorize these all for the SAT. And here's a couple of really good examples. So control K is the shortcut in PowerPoint to insert a hyperlink. So if you're trying to create an interactive presentation or you're trying to link to something else on your computer or you're trying to link to a website, all right, control K, is the keyboard shortcut to very quickly insert a hyperlink. But if you never create interactive presentations, this would be a horrible hold shortcut to go out and memorize because you'd never use it. Another example of this is Alt Shift C. So what is the keyboard shortcut for Alt Shift C? It's Alt Shift C, it is the animation painter. So this allows you to, again, it's only useful if you're using animations. If you're animating a set of objects, you're adding fade animations or animations are moving something, Alt Shift C will allow you to copy this entire sequence of animations and paste it onto another object so you don't have to go and reanimate the wheel. So again, a great shortcut if you use PowerPoint animations, an absolute horrible shortcut if you never use them, and why I don't recommend just blindly going out and trying to memorize a bunch of shortcuts. Instead, what I really encourage you to do, especially on these hold shortcuts, is to focus on the tasks that you're using 5, 10, 15, 20 times a day. Those are the tasks you want to start to tackle or go after with these types of shortcuts so that you see the most results. And the same is true for PowerPoint, which is the same is true for Excel, the same is true for Word, all right? Whatever you are doing in these programs, 5, 10, 15, 20 times a day, these are the first tasks that I would highly encourage you to start tackling using these keyboard shortcuts. So those are the foundation of where we're going to start and we're going to start moving up from here. So your hold shortcuts, again, if you want to screen clip this, all right, these are the shortcuts, the only shortcuts that most people know. They always involve the hold, shift, and control key. You always need to hold them down, which is different than what we're going to talk about in a second. And for the most part, other than hover to discover and the next section, you need to memorize them to learn them. You can't just, they don't just pop up for you like some of the other shortcuts will.